don't get me wrong. I definitely believe that we need to change out our fluids at a regular interval. However, there is one thing that I think might be just wasting your money. And, and we'll discuss this right now. My name is Pete, and welcome to my garage. Have you ever taken your vehicle into a shop and been told that you need to change out your transmission filter? Okay, sounds good, right? You need to change out your fluid in your filter. Uh, sounds like something you need to do, because why not? We have to change our oil filters every time we change our oil. Makes sense, right? When do we change our air filter? When it gets dirty, right? So therefore, whenever you have a transmission filter, you think, hey, that's, that's really good. We need to change out that transmission filter. Well, if you think about it, and let me know what you think in the comments, because this really is, uh, it really sparks up quite a debate whenever we talk about this as to whether or not you actually need to be to be doing this. So hear me out, and you might think I'm crazy. Maybe not. Who knows? You might agree with me. You know, this might just be a good talking point. So if you have anything uh, for the discussion, let me know what you think and what your experiences are. But let me let me hear me out here. All right, hear me out. Why do we change our oil filter? It's a good question, right? So we change our oil filter because we are burning hydrocarbons in a cylinder that the piston rings could have a little bit of bullby and everything. And we also are going to put acids into our oil. And not to mention all the heat soaks or heat cycles and everything. We're going to build up a lot of acid and kind of sludge in that oil. So, you know, every interval, whenever you change out your oil, they make an oil filter readily accessible and easy to change. Air filter, when do we change it? When it gets dirty, right? If it gets dirty enough, it's going to hinder performance. However, if you have an air filter that's not dirty and you change it, is it going to change anything? No, it's not going to change anything. You've just wasted your money. And that is what my point is. If you have a transmission filter, how is it going to get dirty? Right? It's not like we're burning any fuel or anything in the transmission there's nothing to make it dirty it's who's throwing dirt in your transmission it's a pretty much sealed unit so it's not like you're sucking up bugs and gravel dust and everything like that like you are an air filter so it's so your transmission filter is going to be sitting inside your transmission pan right here right and it is the pickup for your transmission fluid to get it up into the pump and you can see right here, I've just recently rebuilt this transmission right here. And so we have a new filter. And our old filter right here was worth working perfectly good. Now this transmission had a catastrophic failure and so therefore I'm going to change the filter. However, as far as routine maintenance, this filter will never get clogged. What would it get clogged with? The only thing it's going to end up getting clogged with is going to be clutch material from burned up clutches like this or metal from the transmission right if you get metal from let's just say these three four clutches that as you can see right here we're supposed to have little teeth on them they're no longer there on some of them you can see that has a little bit of the teeth left but the metal from this is going to get caught in the filter okay so we need to get we need to get a new filter on there with and get the metal out but changing the filter is not going to fix the fact that you have metal and clutch material inside that transmission that was supposed to be attached to parts. My point is, if you need to change your transmission filter, there's something else wrong with your transmission that's going to need, it's going to need a rebuild anyway. So the point of changing your transmission filter is that you're just wasting money when really all you needed to do was just change out the transmission fluid with like an exchange machine or something like that. Now, you could just drain and fill your transmission. However, that is not going to get all of the fluid out of this torque converter. And if you think about it, this torque converter can hold a few quarts of fluid. So you're not gonna get all of the transmission fluid out with just a simple drain and fill. Some torque converters, they actually had a drain on them back in the day. 
a lot of our transmissions that we have nowadays are sealed units like our our 6T70E and then like 60 all of our six uh, speed front wheel drive and like eight and nine speed front wheel drive transmissions now you have to take the transmission completely apart to replace the filter and the whole idea is there's no reason to change the filter until you, until unless there's a catastrophic failure inside the transmission that needs a rebuild anyway so just some food for thought let me know what you think in the comments section and uh, maybe I'm way off base and wrong here but it does bring up a really good discussion that I wonder if many people have actually thought about or do we just blindly go through life replacing transmission filters because that's what we were told we do I don't know let me know what you think and thanks for watching Pete's Garage and we'll see you next time